Good morning, guys. It's like 10.30 right now. Ma'am, yeah, I'm about to get out of bed. So, I'll take a shower and then get back to you. So, yeah. Okay, so I gotta clean my room. I just got done taking my shower, so I gotta clean my room because it's like really big mess. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, time lapse. Kinda clean. Kinda. Okay, so I'm doing my Spanish work now. And then I'll get back to y'all once I'm done doing my Spanish. So yeah, peace. I am free, my dudes. I am done with school right now. Okay, so I'm going to put my cleats on and grab my soccer ball. And then I'm going to go kick the soccer ball around a little bit outside. Because it's like really pretty outside today. Like it's sunny, but it's a little bit chilly. So it's great. So see you then. Okay, so I'm out here in my yard. I have my soccer ball. But, um, I had to tell y'all something real quick. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I played soccer for like three or four years now. And it's like my favorite sport. But, this past year, I, um, had to get out of the season because I fractured my ankle all the way across. So, I missed about three or four of my games. And... I have not played soccer in like a month or two now, so I'm rusty, but like, it feels great because I haven't put cleats on in two months and been able to kick a ball, so it feels really great to be able to do that, so yeah, without further ado, so now I'm gonna, you know, take videos of it, so yeah, yeah. I have realized I'm a lot worse at soccer now after not playing for two months. <laughs> kind of realized that. Gosh dang. I really gotta work more now. Because <sighs> the next season's coming up. So, yeah. Man, I forgot how much work, well, not much work, but I forgot how much energy you use in soccer, because let's just say, when you're in a boot and you can barely, like, even walk, running's even a pain in that butt. Oh my god. I haven't ran in two months, too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah. I'm gonna keep playing, but I don't think I'm gonna video it anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell y'all what happened yesterday. So yesterday was kind of interesting in a way. Because like basically... Oh, yeah. So basically yesterday, you know, it was going great. Like, I was having fun. I was supposed to film a vlog yesterday. Didn't exactly go well. Move buddy. Okay. But... Um, it didn't go well for a couple of reasons. So basically, we, we, me and my friends came over and played airsoft. You know, that was all fun and stuff. But then, that was when it went bad. Ooh, buddy, you're in my shot. So basically what happened was, we were on the way to, I had Grayson and my friend in the truck. So we were in Ryan's truck. And the names you have to remember are Grayson, Sam, and Ryan. Sam drives the Jeep, Ryan drives the truck. So, 
um, and Grace and I were just riding. So basically what happened was, I was on the way to church, and I had to be there by 345. And we were stuck in traffic, because it was the um, Christmas parade in some rule. And so, we were there, and um, we were stuck in traffic. And Sam had already left, he was at my house to play um, airsoft, and he was stuck in the same traffic, but further ahead of us. And it was 3... 35 so I had 10 minutes to get to church so you know I was like hesitating to run the whole time we were in the car but at 335 I was like you know what? I'm trying so I got out of the truck and I looked and it was le at least a mile and a half well more like a mile so I ran from the truck to our church in nine minutes and it was mile and I got <laughs> so I stopped so there's an intersection before the church and where Ryan's truck was there's an intersection there, but Ryan's truck was a good, like, three quarters of a mile. So, I was stuck there, and the cops there did not know what they were doing, like, worth crap. Like, they did not know what they were doing. So, basically, I was stuck there, and they would not let me pass because they didn't know what they were doing. So, I had to get in Sam's Jeep because he was sitting in that intersection, and he was like, Yo, Sam, I'm right here! So, I got in Sam's Jeep, and then... Went across the intersection, jumped out of the car, then started running again, and then got to church and just laid on the ground. Because I was, like, completely tired. Because I was in, like, Sperry's and, like, jeans. Like, I was not ready to, to run it at all. But I did it, and I lost my, like, $120 pocket knife, and <laughs> it's somewhere in the ditch. That homeless dude will enjoy it. But, yeah, that's my uh, fun story time. But there's also more to this. So I get to the church, and then Grayson, the kid who was in the truck, calls me, and he goes, Dude, you gotta come back. And I was like, I'm not coming back. And basically, Ryan and Grayson got stuck on the side of the road because Ryan's intake for the oil um, bursted, and the oil sprayed all over the engine and caught the engine on fire. So his truck was on fire, and I'm over there, and they're like, Dude, you gotta come here. So then, Ryan, Grayson's parents pick him up. And they call my parents and say, Samuel ran to the church. We don't know if he made it or not there. I did, but they didn't know. So my mom and dad thought I was, like, missing. They were like, what the heck? So they called youth pastor. Then it all worked out. So I was safe. Everybody was safe. Ryan's truck screwed. Like, they don't even know if they're going to fix it, if it's worth it or not. So, yeah, that's fun story time with Sammy. And I'm tired because I just played soccer for, like, 30 minutes. And I haven't played soccer in forever. I don't have the same endurance as I used to. So, yeah. My dog's so funny sometimes. Buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, don't ask why my hat's like this. I don't even know why my hat's like this. Okay, so I just realized I've never showed y'all like my little clubhouse thing I have at my house. So, I'm going to show y'all that because it's pretty cool. I haven't showed that to you all yet, and I don't know why. But I'm gonna do it now. Okay. I'll be there in like a second. Okay. Okay, so I'm on my fort. It's right here. That's that's the fort. But here is the view. So I have a pond and the sunset's literally like right there. And then my dock's right there. And then all this stuff. So I have like pallets and everything for the porch. I left this unlocked yesterday, that's kinda of scary. But then you come in here and you got this. You got like a little workshop, you got a shelf with all my stuff on it, and then you got this, you know, it's full of screws and all this stuff, and then you got duct tape, electrical tape, tape measures, everything. And then you got my desk, my pellet gun, I like this pellet gun a lot, I put the camera on it. And then you got my pellet pistol, pellets, this is kind of where I like shoot squirrels out of too, so. And then I forgot to lock it last night, so here's my lock and my keys, that probably wasn't smart. I'm not going to tell my parents about that because then they'll, they'll, they'll get mad. Oh my gosh, the sun's bright right there. Holy crap. Yes. So here's the view. I don't know why there's sirens, but yeah, here's the view. Here's my little porch and then my dock and then... So yeah, that's pretty nice. This is probably one of my favorite places to be. Besides the lake. I love going to the lake, but this is one of my favorite places to be is right on my fort because I just love it out here. Like I built it, so it has like memories to it to me. Like all the times I hit my finger with a hammer and 
all the times that I cut myself. So, it has a bunch of memories here. So, that's why I like it here. So, yeah. So, one thing I... Oh, God. Okay. So, one thing I also just realized is that I haven't jumped on a trampoline in, like, two months, too. That's kind of crazy. Huh. I'm doing it now. <laughs> okay, so now my cousin is actually coming over. And we're going to hang out and do some stuff. Apparently, he has a project he wants us to work on. So, now I actually have something interesting to put in the video. So, oh, so like, stuff. Whenever he gets here, I will hit y'all back. So, yeah. Peace for now. Peace for now. Okay, peace for now. Okay, guys. So, I'm with my cousin. Hello. And we're taking apart his pachinko machine because we tried to fix it and then it wouldn't work anymore. So, we said screw it. And then we took the... What is it? Oh yeah, I put it in the car. But it's like a really cool looking board. Go, go and, show him. Okay. Oh. Okay. We took that out of it, and he's gonna hang it on his wall. I got here at four ten, and it is four fifteen. Or no, five fifteen. We've been doing it for like an hour or two, maybe like an hour and a half. Yeah. That's about fine. that. So we're almost done. We're trying to get this piece done right here. But other than that, yeah. Okay, guys, my nose is red because it's freaking cold outside. It's like 30 degrees, and I didn't have anything to keep you warm. Riley just left, and it's just me and my dad right now. My mom went somewhere, so we're going to eat steaks and hang out as father son. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here, so peace out. Hope you all have a great rest of your day if you're watching this now, or a great night. So, yeah, peace. Yeah.